All right guys, this is part three of a little series I was doing. So we're gonna gel test the segmenting and fragmenting rounds uh, in this Knox 10% ballistics gelatin out of my Ruger 1022. Uh, previously, I did um, the fastest velocity rounds you could get, all hyper velocity, lightweight bullets, doing 15, 16, 1700, and even 1800 feet per second. Then I also did a heavy hitters version, which featured 40 grain or heavier bullets doing 1300 feet per second or faster. So if you missed those, be sure to go and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description for each one of those. Or you can just check out the 22 slash Rimfire playlist on the channel for those and much, much more uh, 22 and Rimfire videos, including gel tests, rifle reviews, pistol reviews, and whatnot. Uh, but this one, as I said today, is fragmenting and segmenting rounds. So here's a good collection of probably the more popular options and higher powered options. Now, I, a while ago, I did a video of just all the CCI uh, segmented rounds. Because they have segmented quiet, segmented subsonic, uh, this one here, and... Uh, sorry, just a regular segmented hollow point. But this is like super high velocity. This is basically a segmenting stinger. And then they also have the mini mag segmenting now as well. Uh, but I did a video, like I said, a year or two ago, uh, featuring all the CCI variants of all the different velocities. So I'll put a link in the description as well if you wanted to go see that one. Because uh, we're only including two of those here today in this test. And the reason I'm doing that, aside from the fact that I already tested all the CCIs uh, prior, is because these other offerings, they're all either high or hyper velocity, so I wanted to stay with that genre today. So I think I'll fire them in this order from left to right, in the order basically following the advertised velocity, lowest to highest. Um, so we'll start with the segmented mini mags, advertised 1,235 feet per second, as you can see there. Uh, then the BPR and the Winchester. Um, Win, uh, Winchester produces this BPR crap for Browning, and they just allow them to stamp their name on it. So uh, this one says, so I would say they they would be the same, except for they, this one says segmenting. So it's saying it splits into three separate pieces, and there's the advertised velocity, 1435, 37 grain. Um, this one's also 37 grain. But it says fragmenting instead of segmenting. Uh, the tip does look a little different, so perhaps it will be a different result. And there's no advertised velocity on this, although I'm going to guess it's probably the same as the Winchester. Um, then we have the CCI, just says segmented hollow point, uh, 1,640 feet per second advertised, 32 grains. So like I said, it's basically a stinger, except for it's supposed to split into segments when it hits instead of you know just staying whole. And then we got these Norma Eco Power 22 says fragmentation. Uh, so that's the order we will follow there from left to right. There's a close up look for you on each before we get started. If I can get this thing to focus. Rifle I'm using today, Ruger 1022. It's just a factory stock Ruger 1022 with the 18 inch barrel. It just has this fancy pantsy uh, Talo Tiger exclusive stock on it. As I said, Knox 10% ballistics gelatin. Uh, the snow's melting, but you can probably see it up there on the hill. So uh, these are always temperature controlled by me. Uh, optimal temperature 39 degrees. Um, they stay in my fridge, 38, 39 degrees, I bring them here. And whenever it's you know, above like 30s out, I'll bring them on ice. If you've watched the channel much, you see that. I always show it when I do. But today it's like 34 degrees. Had them sitting in the snow before I set them up here for the previous test. I'm trying to move at a quick pace here. I mean, they're still freaking cold though. So um, we are calibrated here, 3.6 inches. So they're in calibration. Front block here is pretty clear, except for it has this one wound channel, very skinny. And I had to pluck the bullet out from one of the previous tests you can see all this from the previous test stuff uh, so that's going to be our catch block and we'll have this one up front here so the only damage to that is where i had to pluck that out and there's a little tiny uh, cavity there so we'll see pretty much what they'll do all here in the front half of it and i can tell you from the most part from my experience with fragmenting and segmenting rounds in gel because i have tested some of these before uh, they generally don't penetrate that far because they break up into pieces so uh, most of the action you're going to see right here anyways and most of them are going to stop in this block but all right let's get started here All 
all right let's check these out so there's your mini mag segmented then the browning bpr then the winchester cci segmented you know the stinger that's segmented and then the um that norma eco one fragmenting or whatever it said some uh nice work going on there up top try to get some good views for you guys so there's your mini mag one i got these two a little closer than i intended but you can still see it there so there's some pieces from the mini mag and then a little bit higher here we had that uh, bpr you can see a piece in there from that i mean they're segmenting and there's the wound cavities and i gotta find out what that base is from yep so that base carried through from that bpr one so that's nice because it doesn't look like there's anything from that mini mag we'll take a look you know maybe some came out hit the table and whatnot uh, so the next up was that winchester one right there and that's a piece from it man it's kind of hard to see <laughs> what's going on in here and there's another base so that's from the winchester so like i said the the browning and winchester had a pretty good chance of being the same thing and there's both bases from that so i gotta say i like that better the the mini mag at again i'm going to inspect it better here uh, off camera and let you know what i got uh what i find but i don't think the mini mag has any base that carries through uh, but the browning and the winchester definitely do so that's super nice if that's the case i would definitely pick those over that if that is the case because you're getting these bases to carry through much deeper and it looks to be about the same kind of wound cavity up front so then what we have here that would be the uh, high velocity one there the quote segmented uh whatever the heck it said on the box the 1600 feet per second cci segmented and there's a chunk Ooh, it's getting slimy on me there there's a chunk there and then you can see a piece traveled clear out here just under this bubble from that uh, real high velocity cci segmented and then your last one here the norma hit right there and again that's from that cci so pay no attention to that one of them exited out the side there from the norma there's another piece and big a big base that carries through so that norma has a big chunk that carries through so just the tip of that one breaks up and i found another piece Found another piece of that Norma down in there. So you got one came out here, one's there, one's there, and then there's your base. All right, I flipped it over here, so now it's a reverse order. So there is a piece down here on the bottom from that uh, segmented mini mag there. So I should be able to find, in my experience, they split into three pieces, and it goes clear down to the base. So you don't have any base that carries through like these three did here. So, and you can see here the sun's hitting it nice and whatnot. Um, it looks like the wound cavity is a little different from that Norma, um, but that's probably because it had such a, I mean, that's almost a whole bullet, just the very tip broke up. So other than that, these all pretty much did the same thing. You know, it looks like this on all of them. So the Norma is the only one that has a little bit different cavity, uh, but I think overall it makes it smaller uh, because of the way this one performs differently than the others although you can see there's a little extra damage that carries a little further uh, just not the segments these other ones the pieces are carrying deeper in you can see them there whereas the norma just itty bitty little pieces broke off the tip there like two inches in and that was it so this is the side with the first two shots so i gotta say you can see here that browning it's just itty bitty little pieces too that didn't travel that far like three to four inches max it looks like and then you got the big chunks big chunks of the mini mag clear up here with almost double the penetration i'll get measurements on that and whatnot um, so it looks like the trend is if you have a base that carries through um, you just get itty bitty pieces breaking off and the penetration on those is not that deep compared to the cci ones that split into three pieces um, you don't get a base that carries through, but your pieces do carry twice as far as the little tiny pieces breaking off the other ones. So 
there's a nice illumination of what's going on. Um, this was the way it was set initially, so the first two shots off to the left there. And, uh, so this is the order that I fired initially. So on top there, you got the Browning, then you got the Winchester. There's the basis from those. There's the CCI 1600 velocity segmented. And those pieces went about the same distance as the mini mag segmented, but it does appear to have done a little more damage from that initial impact from that higher velocity. And then you got that normal one off to the side there. Again, itty bitty pieces didn't penetrate, but three or four inches. And then you got the big piece of bullet that traveled all the way out there. So I'll try to get some measurements on all of this real quick for you guys, and then I'll give my opinion on these. All right, so I got it set here the way it was set when we shot into it. Um, so yeah, basically um, the Winchester, Browning, and the Norma here, all those little pieces because they had big bases or almost an entire bullet that carried through, you get in between, well, like I said, three and four inches on those. So between three and four inches of penetration uh, from the ones that have bases that carry through from their their fragments, some as shallow as like, you know, two inches or whatnot. Where was that at? There was a few pieces that was as shallow as two, but we didn't get any go any further than four inches from the ones that carried a base back here. And then on the CCIs where they'd split in the three equal pieces all the way down through the base, um right at about six inches there so uh on the mini mag one and the higher velocity one too Shit. Uh, six inches so with the winchester browning and norma your fragments are only going a maximum of four inches uh, but you got a base that carries back here 10 about 10 inches on the winchester and browning both of those are setting and then uh, the normal went a little bit further because it's a bigger piece about 10 and a half there and then on the ccis you're just getting three equal pieces going about five to six inches um so that's what you get uh, they all do pretty much the same thing up here as far as like permanent cavity goes although i will say and you can see it for yourself the 1600 feet per second segmenting cci definitely has the largest overall permanent wound cavity okay so if you want fragmenting or segmenting and you're going to pick the winner based off of largest uh, permanent cavity then your winner there is going to be the 1600 feet per second uh, cci segmented hollow point um, if your winner is going to be based off of penetration then it's almost a three-way tie here um, between the winchester browning and norma However, I would say I would pick the Winchester or Browning over the Norma because not only do I have issues with these Normas cycling a semi-auto, they always jam up on me. Man, I apologize for the noise. I've been trying for hours. There's just so many people here shooting right now. There he goes again. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing my best to try to like time it in between shots and it's just not working out that well. So I apologize for the... Um, all the gunshots going on over time every time i try to talk it seems like every time i hit record they start shooting so I'm trying anyways where was i the normal they jam up in semi-automatics all the time so just based off of that i would automatically go winchester or browning um but i would also say i don't know you guys could tell from the footage but it looked to me like the winchester and the browning they hit this block pretty hard it made it jump up a little bit so I don't know, largest overall permanent cavity is going to be that CCI, like I said, segmented hollow point, 1,640 feet per second. But if you want to get some penetration with your segmentation or fragmentation, I would go with the uh, Winchester or the Browning there. Alright, so here's two of the pieces from each of those CCI. So on the left here was the mini mag segmented, so there's a sample of what it does. On the right here, there's a two from that 1,640 feet per second segmented hollow point by CCI. There's my pinky for size comparison on those. So it seems like the pieces average a little smaller from that faster one. But I mean, that makes sense because of the extra velocity to break it up a little more. All right, then there's the Browning and Winchester. Browning on the left, Winchester on the right. As you can see, they both pretty much did the same thing interestingly the bases have expansion on them so um that's also awesome i definitely <laughs> pick those over those jamming normas my life <laughs>
Um, but yeah, so it would seem that even though the packaging on one says fragmenting and the other says segmenting, um, as you can see, they are in fact the same product and do the exact same thing. Because like I said, Winchester makes that ammo for Browning and Browning just slaps their name on it. Same thing with those 100 uh, round clear pa uh, packs. They're the exact same thing, guys. All right, and then there is the remains from the Norma. All right, so I think that's going to do it today for this one. Uh, like I said, previously we did all of the highest velocity 22 rounds you can get, same thing. Uh, and then after that, did the, what I would call, uh, hip Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, heavy hitters. Uh, 40 grain plus hollow points at 1300 feet per second plus. Uh, so if you guys missed those, again, I'll put a link in the description to each one of those. Go check them out. Uh, check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist um, for way more rimfire videos, including gel tests. If you want to get yourself any of the products you see me using the video, links in the description for that. Um, if you would like to support the channel and help me keep content like this and more coming, consider leaving a super thanks. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right then. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you on the next one. Damn, come on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, those channels that uh, they got their own property, they, they got it made, man. I'll tell you what.